드라이브에 또 예이 well done welcome to episode 4 of breaking 50 a lot of ups and downs on this one a bit of a roller coaster ride with some of the worst putting you have ever seen in your life so the first tee shot and of course I am left as usual this is the furthest I've ever been left but also probably the furthest I've ever hit my driver on this hole leaves me with an okay angle so it's not too bad being left I absolutely smashed this one so I've used an 8 iron and I'm probably 15-20 meters further than I wanted to be so it leaves me behind a tree with a 7 iron chip to get through the tree just to get an angle for my uh, next chip shot. A little bit hard to judge. I don't want to over hit this one because there's bunkers to the right and it's very easy to roll this one straight off the green and into those bunkers. Left myself with a difficult putt here for, for bogey though and I wasn't really expecting to get this one and I didn't get it as expected. So that gives me a shortish putt for double bogey. So not the best start for this hole, I'd prefer to get a bogey. Second tee shot and it's a terrible tee shot. Um, didn't go very far at all. Pretty much hit it straight into the ground. But it stayed on the fairway. Second shot took way too much turf before I hit the ball, which swung the club around, I hooked it straight across the fairway. So I'm getting to see plenty of this hole anyway. Basic shot here just to get back on the fairway. Leaves me with a 9 iron to the green, I hit that thin. My main goal here is to clear the water, which I do comfortably, but I also hit it long past the hole. Uh, which I don't want and this is the reason why so I've hit that almost exactly where I wanted it to it took a kick forward and as you can see it's an extremely fast downhill green and almost impossible to keep the ball on the green so the chip shot back is uphill also fairly quick but a lot easier to control so I'm happy with that shot I'm happy to be there probably would have preferred to be a little bit closer to the pin um, this is one of the greens that I always have trouble with reading the putts as is evident there I thought that was going to break about the amount that it did so I've actually hit that exactly where I wanted to third tee off and I have sliced this one pretty badly and straight okay. away knew I'd hit it out of bounds. So I took a penalty shot. This is an eight iron and I've made really good connection there and that went exactly where I wanted it to go. Um, but I actually hit it long, which is unusual for this hole. Again, a quick green, but this one's, this green's fairly flat. So I'm happy with that chip. It gives me a look at bogey. Get a, get a good close up of this one. Get this hole, which is a score I'll take especially after hitting my tee shot out of bounds and taking a penalty strike. Moves me to the next one, the par 5. This is off the shorter tee on this par 5. There's actually two tee areas for the par five, this par 5 and this is the shorter of the two. And I've hit it a long way down. I hit it a long way. I actually played a second ball because I thought I'd lost it and then realised that I'd hit it about 75 metres further than I thought I had. So this is just a basic shot to get it on back out to get an angle to the green. Three. Hit this one not too bad. I landed on the green, but I gave it. Coming I hit down. it a little bit too pass. thin, um, and it went way off. So I've seen I've played this shot quite a few times, but this time I'm well short. Uh, didn't get recorded the next shot, and this is where I ended up, just above the hole. And that gives me. It's a really slick putt that one didn't quite read it and this is where things get bad the putting now unfortunately this, this isn't as bad as it gets it gets worse much much green. worse so here's a different angle for this hole this is the, the fifth and normally I, I leave my clubs down where dad 
is recording this actually for me. He's hiding behind the tree because he's looking straight into the sun and can't tell where the ball is. Uh, I can tell you it landed pin high and rolled off the back. You can just see the ball there. And this is a pitching wedge, which I know this one, and I've hit it thin. Terrible, terrible, terrible shot. And you can see how quick this green no, is. Stop. It's left me with a really difficult putt for par. At this stage, I'm just trying to get the ball close to the hole for a bogey. And I've pretty much started that online, and I should have started it probably about, what, one and a half metres to the right there, and it would have been right next to the hole. So I would hope to be getting this putt for the bogey, and I just miss it. Opportunity missed. So this is the next par three. Again, it's good to have Dad on the camera because it gets a different angle. I, this one was headed straight for the flag, right, so and it landed right. probably a foot to the right Nine. of the flag and pin high, but then rolled down, Make or break you. Leave me, leaving me with a pressure birdie putt. Again, probably trying to just hit this one close. Sorry about the wall. And straight away, that didn't feel good, and it dropped. Yay, I don't know how, well but done. I'll take it. Another slice off this tee off, and that went out of bounds immediately. I took a penalty and a drop. And the five iron, which I didn't make good clean contact with, and I ended up going across the fairway, leaving me with a little pitch shot in, which I was happy with. Landed almost in the middle of yes, the green, that's, that's which is about green. where I wanted to be. This is where things get ugly. Left, break to the right. Oh, that's all right. Actually goes the other way. Just a gimme putt. Nope. So that's a gimme putt. Nope. And I didn't tap in for for that shot there, but I did count one to the score. So on to the par three. All I need now is to go back to back straight, pars. Straight. I haven't hit a par all day, so back to back straight. pars to break Go. 50. So the tee shot, another green in regulation on a par three, which I'm very happy with. That leaves me with this short putt for par. And we to hit the... So on to the last one, also need a par. And I've really laid into this shot, and it's the furthest I've ever hit it. Uh, my, it may have even gone across the green and rolled back here. Now this is this chip shot is identical to the last round that I had, and it curled to the it checked and and rolled around to the left. So that's exactly where I wanted it, wanted it to go, and it kicked on and went off the green. So this is a super slick putt downhill, and I just want to get it onto the green like that, and it pulled up. So it's a bit of a layup putt, but it gives me a nice, hopefully simple tap in for par. Right in the middle of the cap. So after not looking likely to break 50 after the seventh hole, I managed to get back-to-back -back pars, the only two pars of the day, and with a final score of 49. So I've got to be happy with that.